Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Sim World 3. This is the third instalment of Train Sim World where, I mean, Train Sim World we were promised everything, then you had to buy two years later Train Sim World 2 where we were promised, no, oh, no, this this is it now guys, this is, uh, we couldn't do what we wanted to do with Train Sim World, so if you, if you buy it again, this is, this is going to be everything uh, that we wanted it to be. And uh, yet another two years later, here is another... Train Sim World version, which you have to buy again, priced twenty nine ninety nine on the Steam Store. So it's quite, you know, it's considering we've had so many years of Train Sim Classic, where it's just, you know, updated every year and there's new routes that come out for it. To have to keep buying the entire game again is a little bit eye watering, uh, but there we are. So I've not actually done anything with this yet. This menu is. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is all brand new to me. I don't really know what we're going to be driving. I'm sure it'll say in the in the title what we're driving, but uh, there we go. So we've got mastery mode, complete objectives to master each route, rail fan shots. Okay, create a club, community challenges. Okay, we'll skip that. I'll sign in later. Uh, yeah, I will be asked the next time I start the game. Of course, you've got to create a character. Um, I will be that one because, uh, there we go, he can be Joe. Uh, right, yeah, I've read it, yeah, 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 whatever, yeah, that'll do. Right, so, experienced, that will do. Okay, I've driven a train before, I know what I'm doing, there we go. So, the trains, to the trains, so what have we actually got? Uh, right, that says session invalid, ah, uh, because I'm not on Dovetail Games Live, that's right. Hang on, your collection, train depot, pick a train. Right, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh, so this is what we've got. So, have I actually got all of these? Is is this what this... I don't actually really know what I bought, because, you know, you've got the twenty nine ninety nine, you've got the deluxe package, you've got the super deluxe package. But there's there's a lot here. There's a lot here. I didn't know there was different... No, I mean, that's an ICE 3, isn't it? But you've, yeah. So, I mean, you've, you've practically got everything that you had in Trains in World 2. Does it pour over? Is that why I've got so many things here? I don't know. There's a lot of things here, isn't there? Uh, well, shall we go for a spin on the... On the 4, 6, 5. That will do. Uh, oh, then you've got liveries. Right, we'll have that one. Uh, Southeastern high speed. Uh, does this go all the way to... Now including Ashford International and Dartford. There we go. Right, let's, let's do that. Now, let's go to the new bit. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Uh, this is all Gravesend, Charing Cross, Gravesend. I thought we had Dart. For, oh, Dover Priory to London, Victoria. That'll do. 919 service. Dynamic weather. How does dynamic... How does dynamic weather work? I mean, I, I thought that... Yeah, I mean, it's the 7th of September today, so we'll go with dynamic weather. That'll do. Right, yeah, brilliant. Ah, fantastic. So we're 2 kilo 6 eight. Select. Oh, get started. That massive great big button in front of me. I mean, I, I probably know how to do this. I'm heavily relying on all the controls being exactly the same as they always were. Um, if they're not, perhaps I should have gone into beginner mode. Right, so drive this southeastern service from Faversham to Rochester. That'll do. Okay, so standard trends in world graphics that are really good. Um, I was expecting nothing less than that. Let's uh, let's just get the AWS unisolated. Okay, everything seems straightforward. Let's release the doors. And we have a look outside. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Oh hang on, why are we at Faversham? I thought we'd I thought we'd spawned at Dover Priory. Ooh, that's uh, there we go. Oh, we've used the headlights. Have we turned the tail lights off? That'll be up there somewhere, won't it? Train lights off. That's not what I want. Tail lights off. Uh, right. Heat and lights. That's not it. Train lights off. Train lights off. Why are there two buttons for train? Oh, that's train heat off. That's why. Where's train lights on? What if I want the lights on in the train? I don't know. Right, so where are we actually calling? Do we have a uh, do we have a timetable? There's a way that you can find that somehow. I've completely forgotten how you do it. Um, you can you can make a list. 
Let's let's press the F buttons. No, it's not that. Speed set in one of these? Are you sure? Oh yeah, hang on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, speed set. There, there is speed set on this. Okay. Oh hang on, have I have I put it in emergency? Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's not in forward, is it? I do know what I'm doing. You've driven a train before, Joe. Of course you know what you're doing. So we're going to Victoria. I thought that we were starting further down, but maybe that's because this is my Train Sim World 2 save, um, which, I mean, I didn't install Train Sim World 2, but when I installed Train Sim World 3, it did install Train Sim World 2 again for me. I was like, yeah, cheers for that, guys. Right, let's close the doors. We're ready to go into forward. Oh, there's a lot of random beeping noises. Oh, we're off! So yeah, maybe... Oh, let's just whack it in full power and up for the best. I mean, we'll go up to 60. I don't know if the uh, if the resolution's not that good in here. It seems to have started the resolution a little bit smaller. Let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, screen. Yeah, why is that the case? Why is it not? There you go. That's what I want. Windows Mode third screen. Apply. Is everything going to become a lot better? Ah, much nicer. I thought it looked a bit funny. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Now, the screen recording has uh, has gone massive. Just bear with. Because I, I stretched the... There we go. That's better. Much better. Ah, here we go. So this is how we find our uh, our schedule. So we'll go in Sittingbourne, Raynham, Gillingham, down to Rochester. Okay. And it's about half an hour. That'll do. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're back, everybody. And the, uh, the resolution is far superior, isn't it? There we go. Speed set. Are you going to work? No, it's gone whizzing on past. Maybe I have to... I have to click something, obviously. I probably do have to click something. I can't remember what I pressed to get speed set on. Do you know what? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just turn speed set off. And we'll just drive. I mean, we're a, we're a stopping service, aren't we? So... Oh, we've earned a reward. We've used the horn. Oh, we've got a 375 coming the other way. Hello to you. Oh, we're speeding. Right, okay. We'll, we'll just coast. We'll coast. I mean, I don't really. I, I know that there's the there's a training centre that uh, that is on as well, isn't there now? Um, yeah, you've you've got that new training. Oh, I'm not aware. Oh, we're an eight car. I didn't know we were an eight car. Well, that means a shot, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. Oh, I've I've done something wrong there. There we go. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we're we're gonna. There, that's better. Oh, we're speeding. Oh, dear me. Slow down, please. There we go. Problem with this three, uh, 365? 465 is that we can only do 75 miles an hour. I wonder why they can't do 100, because 365s can do 100. I mean, it'll probably be, because a lot of these lines just 75, aren't they? I mean, this is obviously a little bit of an exception, because it's you know, it's a bit of a faster line, isn't it? But a lot of the commuter lines will just be 75, won't they, round here? I can't say I'm noticing a massive amount of difference for my money. I mean, particularly the fact that Trenton World 3 doesn't come with... Well, it does come with a new route, doesn't it? Because it's got that extension to Southeastern. But, I mean, I'm not playing that. So, okay, maybe I'm being a tad unfair there. 
by saying, oh, it's the same as Train Sim World 2, but I'm playing on the same route that I had on Train Sim World 2. But, I mean, it, yeah, it's very difficult because it, it just seems like a, a money-making stunt. Oh, we're not stopping here. No, obviously not. We're a semi-express, by the looks of things. It just seems like a money-making stunt. You know, it, it feels like what could have been accomplished. And obviously, I don't know about game design. I'm not a game designer. I am a game player. And a game talking rubbish while playing it player. Yeah, we could go on for a long time like that. But, you know, it... This doesn't feel like anything that Trains in World 2 couldn't be with a patch. You know, why is it a completely different game? Why is it another 29 dollars $39.99, $39.99, $49.99, depending on what pack you buy? And yeah, it just... I'm not blown away, you know, when, when they announced Trains in World 3, it was like, mm, okay, yeah, uh, meh. Another train sim game, but I mean, yeah. I'm sure that the, behind the scenes there'll be plenty going on, won't there? But I'm just not quite sold on it. Oh, we've unlocked an achievement. Train sim world three first step, and train sim world three pathfinder. Flying up to Sittingbourne, aren't we? 0.1 miles. Yeah, at 75, we'll have a, a little tiny bit of break. It's perhaps a little bit early, isn't it? Oh, well, we'll break to 60 and then uh, a little bit more in a moment. There we go, a little bit more. Hopefully we'll be able to do most of it in notch one. That's what we want, isn't it? A little bit of notch one. I mean, we're going with, you know, this is a lot more of a relaxing drive than some of the London stuff because, oh my goodness me, have you seen in London, like, um, particularly like Thameslink, because they've got to, they've run such a tight timetable, the speed that those 700s come into some of those stations is absolutely mental. Oh, here we go, we've got those red boxes on the floor. I'd forgotten about them, hang on. Right, where are we? Uh, right, map. No. Options. Settings. Uh, right, hang on. It, will it be HUD and gameplay? Stop marker off. Uh, next signal. Uh, I think that's it. Objective marker off. Disable junction derail? No. Why would I want to? There we go. Right. Splendid. I don't want to be told where to stop. I'm an 8 car. I can follow the signs. I mean, I want to see how far Sittingbourne is away. Like, in the corner, because I don't know the route. Yeah, it's a little bit slow, isn't it? But it's fine. Right, so we've got the 4 and 8 car board just here on the left. So we shall stop by that. That'll do. Right, hang on, where me where me buttons? There we go. Lovely. Everybody on. Pretty good time in that. About thirty seconds. And oh dear, there's people's feet falling through the bridge. Surely that must have been picked up on beta testing. That doesn't look very good, does it? Let's have a look through here. How are we? Oh, hang on, where is everybody? It's very clinical, that's the problem that I have with 
all these trains in World 2 interiors. It's also clear. Why is there nobody on my train? Where is everybody? Oh, there you are. Oh, I see. Is it the, It's like Bus Simulator, isn't it? Everyone has to have bright blue, bright yellow, bright pink hair. Oh, okay. They've got a hat on. I'll let them off. Oh, hang on. We're running late now. Cracky. And I left that door open. Anybody could have got in and, uh, and nicked me train. Right. Off we go, everybody. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it helps if you... There, lovely. We're off. I'm surprised that this doesn't... I mean, it's a 465 slash 9, so why is it not... I thought the 465 slash 9s had the Hitachi sounds. Do they not? Oh, I'm, I'm not a... F I like 465s, but I'm not very knowledgeable about 465s. I, I thought that the 465 slash 9 had, had been retrofit. That's why it was a slash 9, because it had all its traction motors redone. Oh, no, it was the it was the Brel ones that were redone, wasn't it? Have, have, have they still got Metro Camel ones? I don't know. I don't know. I thought that the Slash 9s were the ones with the new traction motors, of which case this sounds completely wrong. That might not be the case, however, uh, which I'm sure one of you lovely people will inform me as to the uh, the goings on for 465s in the comments section. If you could do that, would be appreciated. I'm always keen to learn. Right, so next stop is Raynham. Yeah, it's a shame about little things like the um, like the people's legs falling through the roof. I'm hoping that they'll have that rectified. It's little things like that that, as I'm sure you'll know, spoil it for me. I'm surprised that they don't just fall through like a bus simulator 21. Um, oh, hang on. Right, we'll just have a little bit of break for this 70. Lovely. But of course, let's not forget that the la the lovely lady from uh, from Dovetail Games did say that this is their local route, and uh, as such, they've been particularly hard on themselves. So this is, if I read into that, what I think this is the best that Dovetail Games can possibly produce. I mean, uh, to be fair, with Trensim Trensim Classic, Dovetail have always been really good at making routes. I've never had a problem with the Dovetail Games route. I've always thought that they've been suitably accurate, suitably detailed, uh, and to be fair, they're, they're really good at route building. It's the trains they can't build. You know, they, they look brilliant, they sound terrible, the physics are ghastly. Whereas actually, uh, Trains in World 2, they, they are better. I mean, don't get me wrong, the physics don't seem quite right, but they are a lot better. I think, though, that with this, did they not work in conjunction with Armstrong Powerhouse for this? That could be why. <laughs> that could be why uh, this sounds a lot better. Oh, we're not stopping here. We're, uh, we're a semi-express, like I say. We're only stopping at the important places, aren't we? As long as you don't have to turn that hood thing off for every route, it used to really annoy me. One thing that, like, I, I highly doubt that the Trends in World Two, uh, Trends in World Three, sorry, developers are listening. But for goodness' sake, if you click that you don't want those ridiculous signs on, for you know, you should only have to do that once. Whereas in Trends in World Two, you have to do it for every flipping route, didn't you? Oh, 
Oh, hang on, it's gone to 75 and I'm just plodding along at 70. It's been 75 for a while now, Joe, for goodness sake. Catch up. Oh, hang on, Raynham, 0.7 miles. Let's uh, let's get a little bit of a little bit of braking on. There we go. That is the thing with that that little objective marker. You, you do kind of need to keep looking up at the top there. I always just preferred how they did it on Trends in Classic, where you could have the you had the bar at the bottom, and you could see just what was coming up. Because like the problems with this is like, and as, it's exactly the same as Trends in World Two, is the fact that like, this could go to 90 now, and then just after it could go to 30, and I'd be accelerating thinking it was going to 90. Well, I wouldn't, because I'd be stopping here, wouldn't I? But you know what I mean? Like, you you wouldn't be able to see the lower speed. Six car stop. Right, the uh, the eight car stop will be about here. Coming in just a tad quick, but I'm sure it doesn't matter that we're going ever so slightly past the stop board. Okay, so I don't think that's realistic. Or maybe it is on these older units, I don't know. But you definitely shouldn't be able to open the doors. I'm pretty sure... Oh, hang on, that's lit up for safety systems isolated. That might be why... Why does it do that? Why can't you... You know, by all means have the option. To isolate the safety systems. But, like, have them just set as default... I don't know. I don't know. Three step check. What is the three step check? Again, I don't think... Yeah, that, that shouldn't... When you let go, it shouldn't ping again. Yeah, that, that's not how that should work. Ah, so the DSD is isolated. Right, I don't want that isolated. Vigilance isolated. Yeah, why, why is all this isolated? Get it all on. I don't know how you do that. I mean, that's the Vigilance pedal, so that'll be the DSD. But isn't that Vigilance? Oh, we shall see. We shall see. We're going to end up coming to a stand, aren't we, and having to just isolate it anyway. And be like, Joe, you can't drive properly. Hey, we're off. You just stand back, please, Mr. Uh, shell suit on the left there. Right, 2.9 miles to Gillingham. Gillingham. Mmm. Is that the noise a, a DSD pedal makes in these things? I'm going to assume so. It might be because I've got motion blur on, but you see how around the windows it kind of has this little weird... Just a little effect. Maybe if I turn motion blur off. Yeah, sorry, we're spending a lot of time in the uh, uh, graphics. Uh, motion blur off. Apply. That is much better. Is it? Yes, it is. That motion blur nonsense around the side is gone. Better. Oh, hang on, we're speeding. That'll do. Yeah, a bit, bit of braking. Yeah, we can only do... Oh, hang on, there's a bit of foliage on the line. Right, down to 60, surely, so we'll slow down for that. We've gone past the yellow board, haven't we, so... I always tend to just start braking when I see the yellow board. I know we're a little bit early, but... It's fine, isn't it? It's fine! It's 
possibly one way of getting around that you know I'm complaining that it could go to 60 and then 20 straight after there will be signs on the route or you would hope that there would be so so long as you're not just completely relying on your on your hood you should be fine Ah, remember this bit. We go past the depot. Thirty-five over sixty, so sixty for us. Flying round into Gillingham over the level crossing. Oh, look at that. I do quite like this route. It has to be said, I was kind of hoping, like when I bought Trains in World, that I'd get the extra little bit on the end. You know, I've, I feel like I've kind of bought all the routes I've already got. You know, perhaps I was expecting too much there, but for. You know, I, th I thought that I'd bought new things. <laughs> Obviously not. There we go. So we don't seem to have a stop car, Bob, which means we go right down to the end of the platform. Oh yeah, we've just got an S board. There it is. I see you now. There we go, pressing the wrong one. All. Oh, so this is SDO. I wonder if it works. Oh, hang on, where are we? Is everybody on? Oh no, we need to wait. Okay. It doesn't appear that the fan works. I'm impressed that the switch works. Like, a lot of this would just be inoperative. But it would be quite nice to have. To hear the fans leap into life, you know. Seems weird that they would animate the buttons yet not make it do anything. Perhaps there's something I'm missing here. But yeah, I'd, I think high and cool, because it's a hot summer's day. The, there should be some noise as you're driving along. That's a bit weird. Do, 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 do. We have quite a long time at, uh, at Gillingham, don't we? Oh, hang on. Oh, where have I gone? Oh, I didn't know you could use your arrow keys to move, move about. Ah, oh, look at that. Was that always a feature of Tristan World 2? Or have I just been a bit behind the times there? No, oh, sod it, it's more or less, isn't it? That'll do. We have interlock from the blue interlock light displayed just down here. There we go, razz it into full power. And this is this little section after Gillingham, isn't it, where I try and race to 60 mile an hour and then back down to 50. I reckon I can do it. I'm impressed that we've not getting any we're not getting any lag. I'm getting 62 FPS on this. 
just next to the 50 speed limit sign on the top right there. There we go, up to 60 and back down to 50. Oh, this is very white at the end of the tunnel. This is this is weird. I don't think this should look like this. Is this one of these walls? Like when we drove last on... Uh, where was it? Oh, it was um, Harrogate Loop, wasn't it? Oh, okay, so the, the light gradually becomes less light. Are we going to get light? No. Okay, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, let's have a bit of braking for the 30. We've already had the warning board way back there, but, you know. So I think the idea with Trenton World 3, from what I understand, is that they can build longer routes now with this. I don't know if they've redone the program or if they've... I don't know what they've done. Um, yeah, that that is a consistent thing here. I don't know what they've done, um, but yeah, I think they've they, have they redone. I've not watched any of the streams, so I don't really know. So you know, well, if you'd have just watched it, you know, they'd have told you what they'd done. But I think it allows for longer routes, hence why this goes all the way down to Dover now uh, and Ashford. Yeah, whereas Trends in World Two, I, I don't think you could have particularly long routes, which is why we got things and Trends in World. But again, I don't understand why this couldn't have been done in a patch and just sell the routes like they always did. You know, a free patch every year, sell the routes at 25 quid like they always have done. I, I don't understand why you now have to buy the base game again. I won't understand that and there'll be nothing that you can do that will convince me that, like, buying an entire new base game every two years is fine. Oh, hang on, there we go, stop at the 8 car. Hang on, why am I stopping there at the 8 car when the when the screens are here for the DOO? Well, this is ludicrous. You're meant to stop by the screens, aren't you? Or is it a dispatch station? Is that why the, the screens are for the dispatch? It's not for me. I don't know. Or have they just put the screens in completely the wrong place? Because, I mean, we've got... I mean, these are DOO. 10 to 12 car, no screens. <laughs> and there's no in-cab screens on these things for definite. Screens there, I mean, they don't work, do they? But, uh, okay, I've stopped a bit past them. But again, the 4 to 8 car, no screens. Where, where are the screens? What about on the other side? Hey, see, there is by the 12. But none by the... Yeah, okay. I'm not convinced by that. I think they've they've done something wrong there. Right, where are we? Are we at Rochester? I don't know. I don't know what station we're at. Chatham. There we go. I think Rochester might be next. I do like all this little southeastern bump in the uh, in the cab. That is very nice. You know, it could just be left as blank, but you've got the, the all these little details. This is very good. I wonder if there's a button in here to put your instrument lights on. Because obviously, like, when you go in a tunnel, I can't see what's on the screen. Cab lights, door release. Oh, okay, the little penny way. Right. So from when I put a key in. I'm intrigued to know what's happening with this white light in front. Witchcraft, I tell you. Witchcraft. Ah, yeah, so we go round to Rochester, don't we? This is this really slow bit. This doesn't feel so bad in the 465, but it feels chronically slow in the uh, in the other one, the 395, doesn't it? This is the old station. God, 
Or yellow? Are we following something? We must be. There we go, Rochester. So we've got a red at the end of the platform, so whatever we do... Excuse me, sir. Can get back from the edge of the platform, please? Yeah, whatever we do, don't overshoot, because it's a red signal. I think, is this where... Does this stop here? Is this where we, we finish? I don't know. No, we'd go around the corner, wouldn't we, to Gravesend? Or do we carry on straight forward here? If it's a Victoria. I don't know. Oh, there we go, the screens are in the right place here by the S car board. A lot of flange, isn't there? Let's have a look at what we've got. So, uh, schedule. Oh, yeah, this is where the train terminates. Right, okay, hang on. We're uh, clearly relieved by another driver here. Oh, stop squawking. There we go. Put it in neutral. Right, well, there we go. That's the first look at Trains in World 3. You might be confused Trains in World 2. Yeah, oh, hang on. We've still got that little thing on it. Okay. Uh, oh, and we can actually go down to Ashford now. And Faversham. Ah, right, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and Dartford. It carries on. Ah, right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, let's go back to the homepage. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm not going to say that I didn't enjoy the game. The game itself is good. I just don't agree with you having to pay for it again. Uh, having a look in the store, you've got things like, ah, right, okay. So, yeah, the reason I don't have uh, any of this on is because I haven't purchased this for Trains in World 2. So, it carries on over. I get you. I get you. Although, I have got Schnellfahrstreckel Kessel Würzburg. Maybe that's because I've got Trains in World 3. Oh, I should have the extended version. I wonder why we don't have the extended version then. I could drive down to Dover on it. I don't know. I don't know. Right, well, there we go. If you enjoyed that, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Let me know what you think to Trains in World 3 in the comments. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned because there'll be uh, we'll do a lot more on this. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.